Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange, and of course, we've got the lovely Lola Strange joining us today. And we're talking bags, backpacks, backpacks specifically, mm -hmm. and even more specifically, we're talking about Max Expedition, which is my favorite. Uh, I think both of us, our favorite backpack manufacturer or or brand name whatever and for you Maxpedition heads out there mm -hmm. there is a new um there's there's some new additions to the AGR which is I think Maxpedition's advanced gear research I Live. think that's what uh, mm -hmm. yeah AGR stands for and uh I think for about two years, Maxpedition has had the Rift Core out yes the 23 yeah. liter Rift Core mm -hmm. right so they're releasing two new bags Starting today when we post this video, they're releasing two new bags. So one is the Rift Blade, which I have over here, and this is a 30 liter. Correct. And this right. one here is the Rift Point, which is a 15 liter. And actually when we release this video is when they'll be talking about it. However, the bags will be later available later on in this month of August. Right. Okay. So you, you're already going to be able to find them on their website. Correct. Basically, I've already, you know, pulled up the website and uh, it's available there. If you guys, if you guys are into Maxpedition bags, you would have probably already seen this. I think that the, um, that people really have been requesting this from Maxpedition because these two bags kind of bookend the, uh, the Rift Core. This is a little bit smaller, but right. still CCW. This is a little bit bigger capacity and still CCW. Mm -hmm. And so I think they found that that was what was the most in demand. So they have these two bags. They're coming out um, later in August or Correct. September. Later this month. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they should be available. Um, and I believe that the Rift Core right now is about 219. I don't know. Do we have prices on what these are going to be, Lola? We, we do. We do on the website. The Rift Point, when I checked, is about 178. I'm going to okay. say 180, rounded. All right. Um, and your uh, Rift Blade looks about close to about 260, um, and that's what I was seeing so far. Yeah. So we're going to roll in while we're, we're just going to do a quick video about this to introduce it to people. And uh, I'll roll in some footage of us. We've, we've had the bags actually for, I would say, uh, probably a few weeks. And uh, we're going to roll in some of the stuff of us using it. Typically, I'm, you know, I use a bag in my everyday work. So I go from home to the studio here and I have to bring in all kinds of different things with me that I that go back and forward. So that's pretty much my use, unless I'm on the range. If I'm on the range, then it, it may be out there as a range bag or my camera bag with different equipment and things like that, or both. So I'll roll in some stuff. What do you usually use your bag for, Lola? Um, honestly, uh, Hank had to talk me into carrying a backpack um, for my everyday use. Typically, I carry a purse, and then I carry a laptop bag, and then I may carry a lunch bag. And um, the folks I work with call me the bag lady, and uh, and I refuse to adopt the backpack idea. But to be honest, I've started using the backpack uh, about a month ago. I was using a larger um, backpack at that time, a larger Maxpedition, which I have over there, um, and I transitioned to the smaller one. So this has become my everyday bag for work. Actually, I carry well. You got you'll see. I carry most of the things I need now in one bag. Right. And I'm no longer carrying a purse um, in with me anymore. Yeah, I mean, you could always throw your purse in there. So, you know, everyone's going to have their own different uses for these bags. Uh, we're going to try to keep it quick, so we're just going to go through it. So I'm going to start here with the uh, Rift Blade, which is the bigger 30 liter one, like I said. You know, obviously you can see here I'm using the outside, this outside strap that you can, you know, you can use this for a lot of different things, I guess, to, to hang things off of. That's what I usually do with it. I don't know if that's the intended design. I, I would like to, I would probably think so. Also, it's probably used to help reduce the size and all that kind of stuff of it. So that's where I would keep like every vlogger's most favorite tool <laughs> next to their camera, my uh, my Joby, uh, you know, adjustable tripod there. And then I'll, I'll try to go through everything really quick. So I think one of the most important things to to gun folks out there is that there there is a CCW pouch, and um, as you can see, it is it's right here. 
So I could pull out, this is my Glock 17, and of course it's clear for anyone, you know, they're using this for demonstration purposes, but I've got a Glock 17 in there, and I've got backup magazines also clear, right? And so inside of this, I don't know whether or not you guys can see it. We can maybe roll in some footage. So inside, you've got you've got uh, the Velcro here that's going to adhere to the inside of it, and you know you can have your gun like that and put it in there to uh, to wherever you need it to be. And then one of the things about this line that they're doing now is on the flip side. So depending from where you're going to deploy it, you can actually there's a lockout strap so you can close off the flip side, and that's what's going on here. That's why I can't put my hand all the way through. Yeah, so if you're doing something and stuff is moving around in there, it's less likely to fall out if you accidentally opened that side of it and you know you can have access like that to, uh, to your CCW stuff that you have in there. Um, then I'm gonna go into the outer compartment. So here we've got a big outer compartment on this side. And inside you've got your gossamer mesh pockets with the uh, they're all YKK, all of the uh, Maxpedition stuff now. Zippers, yeah. Yeah, in terms of the zippers. So I've got just a bunch of, I've got like shooting gloves in there and Air Pro and other tripods and things like that. That's what I've got. But you could just put, you know, I've got tons of other stuff like backup batteries, etc. I've got my emergency uh, med kit here, tourniquet. You know, I've got a tool kit, I've got an extra flashlight. So you've got pockets here that you could put stuff into, into this compartment. I think you can get a lot of things in there. Of course, it's got their, um, did uh, Max Expedition patent this? This Atlas. Yeah, is that, is that what it's called? The Atlas? Mm -hmm. Atlas so, system. Yeah, so if you need to, if you need extra storage on the outside of the bag, you could thread it through this and you would have extra storage. Of course, there is the... Uh, you know, so that no one can rip off their bags. They've got Maxpedition now like ghosted in. Yep. Kind of like the gray man. Um, is this gonna be available just in black or other colors? No, you've got black, you've got gray, and you've got FDE. Okay, very cool. Um, up here, you've got like a Velcro patch that you can put your stickers on. That's what I've got, or patches onto. That's what I've got here. This is really what I would consider like the sunglasses. Uh, you can put your sunglasses in here and things like that. It's kind of, it's not super hard, but it's, you know, it's going to give some protection. Yeah. yeah, so I've got more like iPhone devices in there and a, a backup light in case, you know. Oh, I gotta charge that light actually. It looks like it's dying. Yeah, so that's dying. I've got the charger and all that kind of stuff in there if I would need to use it. And then the pouch that my, my shades or glasses or whatever usually go in. Just to uh, show you guys what, I, what I've got there. Then in between, there is actually a, uh, and I don't have them in here right now, but there's actually a pouch that you're, uh, oh, I've got some, got some accessories that I'm supposed to be doing video on. But so in here, there, this is this would be the pouch that your computer bat that your computer can go into here in the bag, or your your iPad or whatever. I found you can get um, I can get actually my seventeen inch. I yeah, fifteen. I, no, I've got a fifteen. I can get my fifteen, and I can also get my iPad both in here at the same time. Right. There's lots of room for that. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's really a big deal for me to to go out every day. So that's that. Actually, I'll leave that open and then I'll open this one down. So there we go. So here's the big inside. I think I've got like a shimaga in there. And I don't know, this looks like a microphone. I've got a bunch of ammo in here right now. This is just whatever when we're making this video, whatever I have in there. So I think I have a bunch of ammo in here from Scout Munitions, which is like a ammo sponsor for the Hank Strange situation. I've got this very cool uh, multi-tool from, uh, what is it, multi-sker, multi, uh, multi-tasker, excuse me, there you go. Twist, the twist tool, I keep that in here, I'm testing that right now along with, I'm always testing stuff, so that's just how it goes. Backup, Air Pro, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> if, you're, if you're shooting high caliber, if you're shooting high caliber stuff, um, you know, Sometimes you gotta use two Double sets of ammo. Yes. Yeah, and then so in here there's another gossamer bag in, uh, or pouch in here that's got two zips, so you can go both ways in there if that's how you care to go. But you can uh, put things in this and see what you have going on in there. So that's convenient. You've got another little pouch here that you can get into, and uh, of course you've got more space in there. And and I don't know if you guys can see the bulge here, but that's. 
That's the uh, gun and the magazine inside of the CCW pouch. So lots of room in here. I'm pretty sure I could just dump a whole bunch of stuff. Probably if I wanted to, I could put enough like clothing and things like oh, that yeah. in here for a couple of days. Oh yeah, at least for a weekend. Yeah, so that's just the, uh, that's these two main compartments. Right. If you want to go through that on this bag. And uh, around the bag, there's still more of the Atlas lattice stuff that mm -hmm. you, you could put other things onto. So there's no, there's no, um, one of the things I think that I, that I like on some of the other bags is not available on these because obviously they've got the CCW pouch and some other things going on. They don't have any outside pockets or like bottles and things like that. Yeah, but, well that's where the attachments come in. You can attach yeah. something. Yeah, still lots of storage. Uh, you've got a grip handle up here. You've got uh, up on the top of it, which I'll show you guys. Uh, maybe we'll get a close up. It says uh, rift blade. Yep. So just like you've got your Maxpedition down here, you've got Rift Blade. Uh, Maxpedition never used to put the name of what the bag is, so someone's always going to say to you, what bag is that? And then you, if you're like me, yeah, you're going to forget. Yeah, we've so got older okay. bags that we, can identify, we couldn't identify where they were, right? No. So now I love the yeah. fact that it's clearly yeah. demarked right there. Right. We've been using Maxpedition for, I don't know, over like maybe 10, 15 years or yep. so. I think they've, they're, they're just getting to like, are they coming up on an anniversary or something? I don't think they've been out for 20 years. I think they've no. been out for something like 15 years. We've been something using like them that. since the beginning, since the very beginning. Mm -hmm. So you've got, obviously it's a backpack, so you've got dual straps here to, to right. you know, to go over the back. They're all adjustable. Lots of, lots you've got a padding. waist. You've got a waist um, strap on there as well, mm -hmm. and lots of uh, lots of easy to, to right. grasp poles and all that kind of stuff on it. Um, we can go deep into it. Do you want to talk about your bag, Lola? Um, sure. So with um, with my bag that I have here, this is the Rift Point, and similar to the Rift Blade, you're going to see a lot of similar features on this. You know, I also have the front pouch, which for now I've been keeping just my wallet in here when I go to work every day. So my wallet's in here, my checkbook, I keep a pen in here as well. Um, and then in this gossamer mesh area here, I keep the little small things that I don't want to lose, but I go too often. So I've got a lotion, I've got a lens wipe for my glasses when I have them with me. I don't know where they are right now. Um, and then I just keep a chapstick and of course a, a lipstick in here to touch back up during the day. So and your that, purse. And is my this purse. A purse. What is this thing? It's called a clutch. It's a clutch? I believe. Okay. No, it's not a clutch. No. Oh, a wristlet, excuse me. It's called a wristlet, yes. Okay. We, I don't know, women and all the stuff we've got, but anyhow. So usually I've got that in here and some other, and my eyeglass cases would have been in here, my prescription glasses, but I think I left the case in the car. Mm -hmm. Um, this you could also put those in the top part if you want. I can, but my glasses are a, a little big for this. If they are out of the case, it will fit. If they're in the case, it sometimes don't fit. So I use this for my cell phone. Okay. So that when I throw the bag in the car like that, I usually sit it like this. I zip it and then I can just have access, have to, my access phone. to the phone. And then okay. set it in the car when I get that to makes driving. Sense. So that's that compartment. Here, I put knickknacks in here. Usually I've got like a piece of candy or gum or something in there like that. That's what mm -hmm. goes in here. Or my ginger mint, I put in this little compartment here. So all the mesh things, these gossamer, I mean, I love it, mm -hmm. it's great. Mm -hmm. So um, after that, and these pull tabs are like a lifesaver. I mean, they're so easy to use. I don't cut myself trying to open the, you know, the bag and the zippers yeah. and all that other jazz. So, I mean, this is great, I love it. I just usually go like this and crisscross it to make sure that I've got it mm -hmm. put, put in place. So when we open the inside part, I fill up my water bottle at home before I leave That's every not morning. your water bottle, It actually. has become my water bottle. This is my water you bottle. You just didn't That's know why. that. That's why it has Hank Stranger. It doesn't uh, have Lola Stranger on it. It has become my water bottle. When was the last time you saw this water bottle? Exactly. Exactly, because it's become mine. Okay. So anyhow, I fill this this thing up every day and it goes with me and it fits. Mm. It fits right in here and you wouldn't even know it. And I still have room for more stuff. Um, okay, so this is the compartment here this is where the you big keep compartment. your yeah, where yes. you would keep your computer. Yes, this tablet, is the big compartment. You know, right. When the bag came in, I was a little shy about it. I was thinking, man, I'm not going to fit anything in here. At least so, the things that are important to me. Right. So the Rift Point has like one major one compartment. One major compartment. Okay. Correct. So that's a big difference between the Rift Point it's a huge and the difference. Rift Blade. Yeah. It's a huge right. difference. Okay. I mean, this mm -hmm. wouldn't be like a weekender. Mm -hmm. This is something I'd pack 
you know, for the day. You know, I pack for work. I pack right. if I'm just I going to the gym. I think that's the point of that. Maybe. Yeah. Exactly. I'm going to gym. I want to take a couple of things. This will work for that purpose. Okay. Um, so the major compartment, again, I've got this mesh part here. I can sticker uh, additional things if need be. I've got another pouch on the inside where I can tuck things away um, in here as well. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, the important things to me. Mm -hmm. So instead of carrying a bag and my laptop bag, well now I've got my plug for my laptop in here. I've got my my day planner for scheduling podcast guests and everything else in here. As well as the most important thing is my MacBook. This is a 13 inch, even in its case, it fits. And I was worried I was gonna have to take it out of the case. Mm -hmm. I don't have to. It fits in this compartment back yeah, here. Yeah, this could. Let me see. I mean, this could prop. Can you get a it fifteen in here? Nah, I don't know if you'll get a fifteen in, but a but thirteen. But definitely a thirteen. You might be able to get a fifteen in there. You maybe could. You could stretch the bag out and make it fit. But yeah. definitely a thirteen. I think it, fit, it, will, it will probably fit. You can get it in. I think so. Like, yeah, no problem 24. with the thirteen though. So that fits. So yeah. that's okay. a really important part of my everyday because I'm constantly um, getting on my computer to check things out. Um, so I'm happy to carry that with me in this bag. Mm -hmm. um, it also has the CCW compartment okay. um, on this bag. So now the cool thing about this one is that it also has the lockout. So that's on this side. I can't get to it, but you can certainly put something in here like a big flashlight because it's, it's, it's space enough to tuck in a flashlight this length. You can put that in there. And then on the opposite side is a bigger opening. And that's where I will carry you know, my handgun. And um, it doesn't necessarily need that um, Velcro strap you've got because mm -hmm. it's not so big. It really, it's like so compact that okay. it fits just in place so and doesn't so, move around. But this does come with a lockout. It does have the lockout. Yeah, so it there's a the lockout, lockout strip here. Let yeah. me just open that so yeah. people can, can see that. Can hear that, yeah. yeah. So there you go. That's basically what the lockout strip is. It's just Velcro on both sides. Yep. And then whatever side you're not gonna access it from, you would uh, put that in there and then lock it down. You're moving it around, so that's, there you go. So then th what that would do is when your hand goes through, it's gonna, you know, once you, if you, if you have this nicely sealed down, even if that's open like it is right there, if your hand goes through, you would have to break through the lockout strip, right. you know, in order to, like your gun's not going to drop out exactly. on the other side exactly. or whatever. Exactly, so there's so. no worry about that, about using yeah. that compartment, which is great. Um, okay. Added feature as well. And once I zip it all up and get ready to go, I mean, pretty much, I just don this on like that, you know, and I'm ready to go. So, if you know, if it's if I'm going up steps of flight, like flights of steps when I park the car, I usually zip this like this for you know extra comfort. So yes, yeah. it's staying on me. I, I use this, I, right? You know, I like this a lot, and then I just have my hands are free. So, now the great thing about this is go ahead. I'm gonna free. be right back, Lola. Okay. Stay right there, just keep talking. Okay, I gotta great. get something. The great thing about this is that my hands are free, whereas before. I would be walking to work and I've got my, my purse and my laptop bag and I'm holding something else on my hand um, and my hands weren't free. Now when I leave work late at night or I'm coming home late at night, I feel really uh, secure because my hands are free to move around. I have access to anything that I need in the bag. So okay, so good. So guess what, Lola? I mean, that's pretty much it. We're still, we are still testing these bags because um, we got them like a couple of weeks early I think that, you know, a few weeks is not really enough, so this is kind of like an introductory video to what's going on so you guys can get your pre-orders in or keep an eye on the maxpedition.com website so you can get your hands on it. If you've been waiting for these, you probably want to get in there. These bags do sell out, so, because, yeah. you know, they're, they're kind of popular. Right. Um, and they're definitely, like I said, our favorite, although we're going to do other bag test coming up. Mm -hmm. And I started a tradition <laughs> to see how many balls uh, fit in the bags. So we know this is a, what is this, 15 liter? Yeah, it's a 15. Okay, and this one is a third. But guess what, we gotta do the how many balls fits in there, Lola. So oh, here, boy. here's some balls. Because right. I'm sure you've always wanted to have your own balls. Sure. And here's my balls. Uh-huh. And we're gonna we're gonna do that, but we're probably not gonna it's gonna take a lot of time. I don't wanna speed it up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it and then we'll we'll announce to you guys, we'll put some titles or whatever up there and let you let you guys know, everyone who follows us and watches the podcast and all that kind of stuff. If you wanna know how many balls fit inside of these bags, we're gonna do it. Maybe we'll include some footage of that along with all the other things that we're playing in here. So there you go. The Rift Blade 
Yep. And the rift point. Yep. New in the AGR line from Expedition. Or, okay, you're just breaking up everything, Lola. Thanks a lot. <laughs> the camera is still standing at least. Yeah. But, um, so new in the Maxpedition AGR line, coming out in a couple of weeks for anyone who's interested. Mm -hmm. And we just wanted to let you guys know about that and let you know that we have begun our testing process. And we, we'll, we'll have some more stuff yeah, up absolutely. of it. And you guys will probably see that. We'll share it with you. Yep. Any last things? No, I think you covered no. it. There you go. So in the description, in the description, we'll have a link to Maxpedition that you guys could go to yep. if you're interested in this, you want to read more about it, get more details if we haven't given you enough details. I'm sure we haven't, but just wanted to get, get you guys a look at it. You could see, you know, like me using it, Lola using it, mm -hmm. etc. All right, we're out of here. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm Hank Strange. And this is Lola Strange. Bye.